you know, Gwen, you talk a lot about, hey, you know, we're in the initial stage of Web3 development. Uh, I know you have a vision towards a billion, uh, you know, in user adoption. Tell us a little bit about that journey to get there and what are some of the challenges we see in the industry? We always say, this is just the beginning. One million daily active users, amazing growth for BNB Chain since we launched about two years ago. For Web3 to really take off for crypto mass adoption, we think 1 billion can be reasonable within the next few years. And that's our goal. Fantastic. And tell us, you know, what are some of the use cases to power up the whole mass adoption wave? Society doesn't change, but also evolves at the same time. So when we look at what use cases will come into the space or will arise, a lot of it will be stuff that we're used to in traditional worlds, in the Web 1, Web 2 worlds. How blockchain Web 3 changed the world right now, it really started off the first use case of money, which is, again, mm -hmm. uh, reinventing um, the financial infrastructure with DeFi, right? Decentralized finance. And after DeFi, what we really saw was an emergence in GameFi. So gaming, but in Web3, right? Which brings about different, again, incentives and, and, and behaviors. So we've seen all these trends um, emerge and evolve kind of separately-ish. But all converging. Exactly, right? Because the whole thing about um, blockchain and Web3 is composability and ability to just have more things work together, to put it simplistically, right? So what we're seeing now is intersection of these trends. So one uh, phrase that BNB Chain, the core team at BNB Chain with, with coined is MetaFi. So MetaFi here means, the matter and MetaFi means metadata. Mm -hmm. Because in Web3, it's about the portability of data, it's about the ability to choose. As a developer, as a user, you can choose which decentralized app you want to, to engage with, interact with, which blockchain you want to interact with, right? At the same time, you own your, your assets, your data. We are pivoting from, uh, you know, power being concentrated on a few to put equitable, you know, decision and choice and power in the hands of consumer. Everyone can choose to participate in a decentralized environment. Uh, and But underpinning that is resource allocation. So there's a lot of talks about tokenomics. Can you share a little bit about your perspective? In Sometimes you don't need a, your own token to power yeah. your economy. Sometimes you, you want to and you do. So, but when you create a decentralized app, it's no longer creating, in a sense, you're no longer thinking about it and just creating one revenue stream. You know, um, you're no longer just thinking about just quote unquote market size, right? Now you're actually creating a whole economy. So tokenomics is really about that. And from the get go right now in Web3, you do have the core team members owning a much lower percentage of the entire economy. So think about a traditional world, founders of a company own, you know, at the beginning, obviously 100%, and mm -hmm. then you raise money, maybe it goes on 80, 60%, depending on what round, and lower, right? And so really for tokenomics is beautiful because you have the community, your fans, your users having a share um, almost from day one, again, depending on how you're, you're building the economy. And that's really nice. So we can see the upstick, you know, from a scale perspective that's coming up. Tell us a little bit about your aspirations here. Yes, I'm really excited about the BNB chain and Google Cloud Partnership. Because I think we have similar goals, right? Absolutely. It's about startups, developer engagement, and really enabling new products and business models to be built. Google Cloud has, you know, a large um, reservoir. Reservoir might be the wrong word, but large network, right, of, <laughs> of startup builders, again, tech leaders, you know, around global. So that's what we really want to, you know, very excited about to really partner on, to really combine the resources of both organizations, I guess the core team for BNB Chain, but also the community of BNB Chain. Um, to, yeah, to bring together to how, the, the question we want to answer is that, what's next for Web3?